My name is Dr. Joyce Muma. I'm a global health researcher and program specialist working in sexual and productive health, mostly in sub-Saharan Africa and among the most marginalized, so among women and girls, young people, um, people in conflict-affected areas, um, people in hard-to-reach areas like urban slums and rural areas, and also among persons with disability. So today, I'm here to talk about autism. I think I actually met people with living on the autism spectrum when we were growing up, but back home in Cameroon, it was known as witchcraft because the condition wasn't well known and I don't think it is is very well known even at this time. So the person I'm mentioning I met in Cameroon who may have been on the spectrum was because of my understanding of what autism is now and looking backward, um, this person was nonverbal um, throughout their, their lifetime. Um, they were not meeting certain milestones um, such as feeding by themselves and needed adult help to um, um, use the bathroom, for example. So um, with my understanding of autism, um, I do think that um, that person could have been on the spectrum, but because it's not well understood, um, no diagnosis was um, was made and so the parents believed it was due to medical error so the um, condition that this person had was due to medical error or had been done externally to them by witchcraft or something like that. The person I have met with the condition is Lulu who I have a relationship with. Lulu is a young handsome boy who is on the spectrum and he um, is um, a boy with light, um, so he's um, active. Um, with his condition, what I notice is that he's non-verbal, um, but he's able to smile and will give you kisses um, to show affection. Um, and yeah, that's how I describe Lulu. Today is April 2nd. It is World Autism Awareness Day. And my message for today um, will be for all of us to strive for a disability inclusive society where one, we understand how persons with disability, especially persons with condition of autism are included in society. Um, for us to also check our biases and how we relate um, to persons with disability and with the condition of autism. And finally, for persons with disability and persons with a condition of autism to participate in society or have the same opportunities to participate in society to the best of their abilities and capabilities. Today we wear blue. See, I'm wearing my blue right down to my necklace, um, showing support for families, friends, and relatives who are on the spectrum. So join me in wearing blue on April 2nd. We are wearing blue with, with Nione. Today, I'm wearing blue with Nione. I'm wearing blue with Nione. I'm wearing blue. I'm wearing blue. I'm wearing blue with Nione. I'm wearing blue with Nione.